Hi chums, a little quick video about practice, okay? I went back to college uh, about a couple of months ago because I wasn't satisfied with the way I was using some of the tools and I wanted to go back and just concentrate on a tool and get it right. And the first one was spindle gouge. And I, I was told to cut a row of beads and coves. Well, look at the state of this here. They're every different size and shape that you could imagine. Now, individually, they're not bad, right? If you take any one of them, they're not bad, but they're all supposed to be exactly the same. So I was really annoyed with myself. I thought, I definitely, I, I don't practice enough. So I came home and I started again. And I started on this one. I'm deliber deliberately covering my hand up here and stuff. And look, you can see, same thing again, little skinny beads and they're all out of shape. And then I thought to myself, I can't really see this. And decided to put my reading glasses on. Do you see any difference? As soon as I put my glasses on, I was able to see what I was actually doing. So I kept the glasses on, and you can see the difference in those two sets of beads. They're, they're like night and day. So I kept the glasses on, and then I did another row of the bigger beads. And they're basically all the same size. A much tidier job. And another row here. I just kind of did quickly for a bit of practice before I started working one day. But there's about three hours practice in that. Maybe four. So in four hours, I went from a complete disaster to something that is actually quite acceptable, you know. So practice, guys and girls, because it does make a difference. And I've started now, when I start working, I, I'll just chuck up a piece of wood and just do a few beads and coves and a bit of planing and stuff. So that when I go to do the work properly, um, the, the piece I want to work on, I'm not coming to it cold. I want to just take the camera off here to show you something else that I have up here in, in the workshop. I just put this up today. Oh, I'm going to have to do it. And, oh, I'm going to have to take this off and squiggle this around. And, oh, sorry about this. Very poor photographer. I forgot to screw it on this stand thing. But I put this up today. <laughs> so there you are, folks. That's me set up for good from now on. Okay, all the best now. Bye-bye.